Now everything is symmetrical, so you can't really make a mistake here. We have op one, op one, and then op two, and op two. Now this is where you want to pay close attention. So if you look at this die, we have the one side, the five side, and as we rotate around, the two side. When this is done, each operation, we're going to take a finished die out, and that's gonna be a completely finished one that goes right to our workbench or our cart. And then we're going to move this die over into the second operation workstation. And remember, we have one, five, and two. And if you look at this one, we have three, six, and four. So we're getting three fresh faces each operation. That's how we get four work pieces per cycle, two finished dice per cycle as well. So that is the setup in a nutshell. Let's check out some cool machining footage. I take a breath, I'm not gonna lose. This is what I came here to do. I walk that wire and I take that step. Won't look down, got no regrets. Won't look down, got no So four parts loaded, six machine faces, and two 100% finished parts per cycle. It's tough to beat. Now, I promise there was a second reason that we're machining dice. Well, we recently passed 10,000 followers on Instagram. And to celebrate, I said, hey, let's make something cool like, oh, I don't know, some fatty dice and give them away. So I'll drop a link in the description below to the post over on Instagram. 